So in this video, I want to talk to you about what it means to choose nothing and what the answer must be, and more importantly, how to prove it. So what does this mean? This means you're choosing from three objects groups of size zero, okay? So let's say you have A, B, and C. Well, to choose a group of size zero, that means you're not choosing any of the letters that you're given. You're not choosing A or B or C, and there's only one way to do that, and that's to not choose any of them. The only way to get a group of nothing is to pick nothing. You get nothing if you pick nothing. So it makes sense then that the answer has to be one. And this is true. Let's extend this now. And then we'll prove it using our general definition here of a combination. But let's make a statement first that we're going to prove. We're going to say that if you have n objects and you're choosing none of them, it has to equal one. How do we prove that? We use our general formula. So if we use our general formula, I'll say that it has to equal n factorial over 0 factorial, we're choosing nothing here, times n minus 0 factorial. And what comes up here is one of my favorite aspects of factorials is that you have a 0 factorial, and amazingly, this needs to be 1. 0 factorial needs to be 1. And at first, that might be extremely frustrating because you, you have nothing. How is it possible that it equals 1? Well, let's just agree for a moment that if it wasn't 1, it would be a problem. You'd be dividing by 0 right here, and this, this, and this fraction would not work out. So we don't want our equations to break. We want our definitions to be consistent. So at least on this level, we can agree 0 factorial, if it was equal to 0, that would be a problem. So it's not equal to 0. And there's more to the discussion, but we'll leave it at that. Here we have n factorial over... 0 factorial is 1, so we can leave it out. n minus 0 is n, so it's n factorial over n factorial. And again, you can see here, even if it was 0 factorial on the bottom, right here, n factorial can't be 0, even when n is 0. So this, and we're, we're not dealing with negative numbers of, zero, of, of n here. We can assume it's positive because I'm not even sure how to evaluate negative factorial. That's an interesting question, though. Um, suffice to say, all of my rambling, these cancel out with no issues, and that has to equal 1. And we're done, right? So based on the general definition right here, if I said to you, okay, you've got 100 things, you're choosing none, what's the answer? It's 1. There's only one way to choose nothing, and that's pick nothing. All right, I hope this helped.